The information a cell needs to live, grow, and reproduce is contained in the cell's DNA. The DNA is divided into units of information called genes. In eukaryotic cells, the DNA is contained in the cell's nucleus, whereas proteins are made in the cell's cytoplasm. During transcription, information coded in the sequence of bases in a DNA molecule is converted into a sequence of bases within an RNA molecule. RNA then carries the information from the nucleus into the cytoplasm where it guides protein synthesis. Many of the genes in a cell's DNA code for proteins. These genes are often part of a larger region called the transcription unit. The transcription unit has specific start and stop sites. The start site is part of a region on the DNA strand called the promoter region. Transcription factors recognize and bind to specific base sequences in the promoter region. Transcription factors help the enzyme RNA polymerase bind to the promoter region at the start site. RNA polymerase immediately separates the two DNA strands. Only one DNA strand serves as a template for RNA production. RNA polymerase matches free ribonucleotides with their complementary bases on the template DNA strand. The first base will be the five prime end of the new RNA molecule. The RNA strand grows by the addition of new nucleotides to the free three prime end. A short RNA-DNA hybrid is made in the space where the DNA strands are separated. As RNA polymerase proceeds, the starting five prime end of the new RNA strand separates from the template DNA and begins to trail behind the polymerase. This allows the two DNA strands to reunite. Base pairing rules are followed. A pairs with T, G pairs with C, C pairs with G. Because RNA is being made, U pairs with A. The sequence of bases in the RNA molecule is complementary to the sequence of bases on the DNA strand. RNA polymerase continues to add nucleotides to the three prime end until it reaches the stop site at the end of the transcription unit. The RNA strand dissociates from the DNA and is released. The RNA polymerase dissociates from the DNA and the two DNA strands reunite. Since the transcribed gene codes for a protein, the type of RNA molecule produced is called pre-messenger RNA or pre-M RNA. Additional processing is required to produce fully functional messenger RNA. The five prime end of the RNA molecule is modified shortly after transcription begins. After transcription, the pre-M RNA is extended at its three prime end by the addition of many adenine nucleotides. This forms the poly A tail. Some pre-mRNAs contain coding regions called exons, as well as non-coding regions called introns. The introns are removed, and the exons are spliced together. The mRNA molecule is now fully functional. The protein coding region on the mRNA contains the sequence of bases that direct the assembly of a specific protein. This region is preceded by a short leader sequence and followed by a short sequence called the trailer. In addition to producing mRNA, the cell produces two other types of RNA, transfer RNA and ribosomal RNA. mRNA, tRNA, and rRNA all play a crucial role in protein synthesis.